There we go. This one. Each week, Catherine goes out the worldwide interwebs, finds all sorts of horrible, horrible things, and brings it all back here in a little segment we like to call What the Fuck is Wrong with You? And here we go. Oh, boy. We're we're starting out wonderfully to... Oh, we'll get to that one, but uh, have to get to the inevitable bees, my God, story. This was that inevitable? Bees, my God. I wasn't aware that that was an inevitability. Bees, my God. Bees, quote, could deter vandals at Greenfield Heritage Park. Heritage Park bosses could use bees as an act to act as a deterrent to stop vandal attacks on historic buildings. They are looking for sustainable ways to protect old mill buildings. Uh, one idea already tabled, using bees to deter people from going into the protected buildings. Planning Wait, action. what? Yes. Okay, you can't control where bees go, though. Like, once they do that... It's just fucking bees everywhere. They yes. get that, right? Like, you can't be like, okay, bees, you're just going to stay right here around the statue. I love the park manager on this. Park manager Chris White, uh, he said it'd be difficult to determine people, uh, to deter people determined to get into buildings on the free access public site. Making the idea to use bees seem sensible. But they're fucking bees, dude. Like... They're how bees. are they going to do that here's the first thing that pops into my head the, the, the first fucking thing that pops into my brain when it, when it comes to using bees um, people have a problem with bees and it's not that they're annoying it's not that they sting you it's that some people are deathly fucking allergic yeah they I mean like I'm not deathly allergic, but I'll, you know, I'll swell. Like, I stepped on a bee once, and it was not pretty. But I won't, like, die. Some but people will. People, yeah, there are people that will. Like, bee sting, bam. Goodbye, Charlie. They carry, like, EpiPens, just in the off chance that a bee might come for them like, someday. Like, comes near them. Yeah. Because, yeah. and, and, and it's, you know, the lawsuit would be magnet. My parent died of a bee sting. Yeah, that was my bad. We thought that'd be a good way to keep people back, but obviously it didn't work out. Sorry. Yeah, I mean, I mean, bees happen in nature, and sometimes nature just says fuck you, but you can't try to control the nature. A no good bee. ever comes of that. No good ever comes of, like, people trying to be like, nature, do what I say. Mm -mm. Nature yeah. will fuck you hard. Yeah, ask ask the guy who brought kudzu to America about that one someday. Yeah, or that fucking fish that walks on land and eats chihuahuas. Yes! Like, that Chinese fish that will just walk around and eat your fucking dog. Yes. Yeah, that was great. <laughs> That's a great goddamn idea there. This Thanks is what that, we... <laughs> I'm just, I've got the idea in my, in my head of a fish walking over and eating a chihuahua, and it makes me so happy. It's because you're a really bad person. I am. I'm an awful person. Speaking of bad people. Except that you teach catechism classes on weekends. I do. I know. It's my secret shame. I, all right. Speaking of bad people. You ever go to the club and there's that one guy who is determined to make the whole thing about him in whatever way, shape, or form he can. Um, yeah, I've also gone to a LARP and that guy's been there, but yeah. So, um, apparently the, the club can't hold this guy. Um, this is, uh, <laughs> suburban man punches sprinkler at River North nightclub. Great headline makes it rain. <laughs> yeah, that's not what that means. That's not what that means. No. No, that's Romana. When Hussain. the raps say that, that's not what they mean. That's not what they mean. Not at all. No, it's... Some Ooh, look at this guy. Look at that shiny shirt. Oh, oh he does. He's got 
He's got. He is dressed for action. <laughs> he's got that. I I sh- I don't shave. I'm rugged. Look to him, doesn't he? Doesn't he have that going on? And he's totally doing the fucking intense stare. I'm intense. I'm Daniel. You can't even handle my shiny purple shirt. You can't even handle it. I'm Daniel Craig. Like he's totally throwing blue steel at the mugshot camera there. Some su- some spy bar patrons have gotten all wet. Oh god. After a club hopper punched a sprinkler inside the River North establishment early Friday, the snafu far from damp in the nightclub's 15th anniversary celebration. Could you stop with the, with the water ponds? Just, just stop. Just, just stop it. You're a reporter, not a comedian. Yeah, uh, but a story like this, you know... Um, Kluk, what's this guy's name? Samuel Klukas, uh, 27, of Burbank, have been spotted by the club before, but he's not a regular. Um, the, uh, marketing director, Miguel De- Delion, Delion, uh, said Klukas, Delion, Kluk- okay, said, uh, Klukas, unprovoked, decided to take a swipe at the sprinkler, which is about six feet from the ground. That's too low. It should be really way high. Cause, yeah, because like, I'm six a lot feet of, tall. Yeah, there's a lot of, like, dudes are generally six feet or above. That's a lot of fucking cut open heads there. I, because my college art department was in the basement. And we had six foot ceilings and sprinklers that hung from them. And people people got hurt. Like, there were, there were some incidents. Will jar And in a nightclub where there's booze yeah. and douchebags. Yeah, Will Jar in the channel says, Fuck you, water! <laughs> kind of what it comes down to. I just... It... <sighs> Why? Why? Did, did it... Just show how fucking awesome he is, obviously. It's... It, this is you know why? that guy. You know why? Because he saw the smash Justin Long hit accepted, and he saw that when South Harmon Institute of Technology had a party, and the bad guys from the rich college tried to ruin it by hitting the sprinklers, it just made the party better. I I actually... Re- oh, God, I get that reference. Why do I get that reference? Oh, God. Yeah, I pulled that out. You did. You did. Justin Long. God damn it. Okay. But he's a man. He is. What? But it just when you're going to the club, you're not the only person in the club. Let other people dance, let them drink, let them have fun. Don't go, everybody's not paying attention to me. Bam! Now they love me. You're like a five year old. <laughs> Like a five-year-old who, who who decides, hey, are you watching, mom? Mom, are you watching? I'm about to do something. I'm about to do something. Are you watching me? Hey. Let's really hope his mom was not watching. That would be kind of hilarious, though. That and, would be kind of like Roxbury, even more than that shirt. You know, I was going to hold off on this one. And again, the preface, I don't like doing stories where people get hurt, but... This was not life-threatening. This was not awful hurt. This was just awful people. Speaking of, hey, mom, are you watching? Um, <laughs> this, you know how uh, this this headline's just kind of ominous and dark. Birthday at Chuck E. Cheese. Oh my turns god! Violet. That's a headline that shouldn't even exist, dude. I know. It's Chuck E. Cheese. What are you doing? It's... <sighs> Dearborn, Michigan. A Dearborn, Michigan woman is hospitalized after witnesses said she was assaulted at a Chuck E. Cheese restaurant. Now, don't worry. She's not, you know, she, she got punched in the face. She got some cuts on her face and mouth. It's awful. But it's not like she broke her neck and, you know, her jaw and she's going to die. It's some asshole, and I, I stress this, asshole punched her in the face. At Chuck E. Cheese. At Chuck E. fucking Cheese. Family members said the woman was celebrating her grandson's seventh birthday yesterday afternoon when she asked patrons at a nearby table to clean up their language. 
everything here is perfectly reasonable, especially even me. you're at Chuck E. Cheese. You're surrounded by children. Don't Maybe. say, don't say fuck in the Chuck E. Cheese. Yeah, like, you know, I get people that are like, I, don't, I shouldn't have to censor myself in public for people's kids and blah, 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 blah. Fine. You, you, like, yeah, yeah, fine. fine. But when you're at a place that exists yes. for children, you're in the Chucky fucking cheese. Don't say it, dude. It's not that fucking hard. Like, uh, yeah, I curse a blue streak here, but at my job where I work retail, I don't swear at the customers because you filter. That's what grown-ups do. It does occur to me, though, that Chucky fucking cheese is fun to say. And then you don't assault grandma when she no. points out. I love... Here, listen to the listen to the language of the article. Um, after she told him to clean up their language, that went, that's when witnesses say a man jumped over the tables and started swinging at people. He allegedly punched the woman in the face and dragged her by the hair. Because someone told him not to say fuck. Look, he's a caveman. He was unfrozen. <laughs> and they told him to be a lawyer and go to the Chuck E. Cheese. He doesn't know the ways of this world. <laughs> it's, uh, it seems like it, doesn't it? <laughs> he's just a simple caveman. Oh, he's oh, also an oh, asshole. Oh, oh. Yes. Unfrozen caveman asshole. <laughs> now there's a TV show. There's a TV show, yeah. Jesus Christ, this is someone's grandmother. What the fuck is wrong with you? Yeah. The Don't assault grandma. No. Don't assault grandma. Like, when your options are assault grandma, don't assault grandma, always choose don't assault grandma. Always. Lady, sue all of him. Every. Sue. Just sue. Just. Get your ass a lawyer the and the restaurant gave her family a refund. So that was nice. <laughs> like, why did the article have to We're really, really sorry that you got punched, punched in, in the, the face, face at your grandkids' birthday party. This one's on us. So good on you, <laughs> Chucky Cheese. Good looking out. Why did they feel the need to include that in the fucking article? God damn. Give it a happy ending. <sighs> To give you some hope for humanity, or at least large pizza shilling mice. Speaking of hope for human, no, there's there's no hope for humanity here. But uh, I this is from Florida. Oh God, is this from Florida? Oh fucking God! Of course, this is from fucking Florida. We're secretly from Florida, you know. We are. <laughs> Man tells IRS he is a resident of heaven, owes no taxes. You can't buy a house there. Lady Gaga says so. 40-year-old Melbourne man who told IRS agents he was not subject to man's laws, but instead was an American national who, quote, resided in the kingdom of heaven, Pled not guilty this week to charges he filed false he filed false tax returns. Russell P. Gentile also faces one count of obstruction of an IRS agent after a grand jury indicted him. Uh let's see here. Um Oh, this is what he said to the IRS. I have been as polite and patient as I can be. You have both violated the law by canvassing me outside your jurisdiction of the District of Columbia and exceeded the scope of your authority. Okay. The IRS kind of has authority everywhere. Yeah, in, in America. In America. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, his last name is Gentile. Well, if you're going to make that joke, you have to pronounce it Gentile. Gentile, yeah, I know, I know. But it, it's it's. But yeah, if you're a resident of heaven, it's usually because you're you're dead. dead. So if you're speaking to the IRS, you know what? If the IRS is bothering you, you're probably not a resident of heaven because that sucks. Yes. If is I don't think they tax you in heaven because it's heaven. Yeah. Is the so things that suck by definition don't exist there. What would you tax in heaven? 
And Jesus really wasn't a fan of tax collectors. So. What, what the hell would you tax in heaven? I don't know. Cloud real estate? How would, how would that, how would, how would tips uh, me playing the harp? Okay. This is, do you remember when you were a kid? St. Peter probably gets taxed on all those bribes. Do you remember when you were a kid and you were playing games like like freeze tag or like you know uh, red light green light, and that one kid would be like, "No, that doesn't work because I've got magic super armor." And Cal, yeah, I, I've got I've got I've got, I've got sword of gray skull, so it doesn't count. Yeah, and you know, no, I'm a Jedi. I didn't, didn't. That's what this guy is like. Yeah. I'm concerned that he actually thinks he lives in heaven because he lives in Florida. First of all. Yeah. So if you think Florida is heaven, what do you think hell is like? <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap! Like, you live in Florida. That's like the existential ass crack of the universe. What is your concept of hell? <laughs> <laughs> I got nothing. That's that. Yeah, I'm concerned for him. Yeah, I. Did he really expect this would work as a legal defense? Did Did he expect the judges to say, "You know, we've been wrong all these years, and this man makes a good point. He lives in the kingdom of heaven, and we should not. He, it's in his heart." We have no authority over him. Bailiff, release this man! Did they re he really think that was gonna fucking happen? You know what? We're gonna be really kicking ourselves when it turns out that this guy was the second coming of Jesus. And the Mayans were right. And he's yeah. here to separate the sheep from the goats. And we scoffed at him. Yeah. We're gonna be so... Like, we're gonna feel really stupid. As we burn in hell. Well, like, he's totally gonna be like, you know what? Tara Dinahan, you were you were a pretty decent person most of the time. You went to your catechism classes like a good kid. You didn't murder anybody. That we know of. But you fucking laughed at me on the internet. Directly to hell, do not pass go, do not collect two hundred dollars, bitch. And I'll be like, well, fuck. Well while we're on the, in the end zone. While we're on the subject of God. Which is, it's a fun subject to talk about because I'm sure no one's going to have any problem with this whatsoever. No, I'm sure the chat will be really well behaved and respectful. Uh, um, this comes to us from, uh, where is this one from? Scotland. Um, Scotland. It's not Scottish, it's crap. Uh, while we're on the subject of God, Driver was reading Bible as she drove on her way to funeral. Driver was, quote, deep in concentration as she rehearsed the passage to read at the funeral. Motorist told police she was rehearsing the passage to read. Uh, the driver, who's not been named, was stopped when traffic officers noticed her talking to herself and not watching the road as she drove. As officers drew alongside the car, the driver was found to be reading from a Bible propped up on the steering wheel. Upon being stopped, the driver tried to justify herself by stating she was on her way to the funeral and rehearsing a reading from the Bible. Although the officers were sympathetic to the driver's situation, complete lack of vehicle control earned the driver a fine and points on her license. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's lovely of you. You, you want to, if you're going to, if you're going to be speaking at the funeral, you want to do a good job. You want to be respectful of the, the dearly departed, yeah. but find someone else to drive. I, I did she think God was going to give her a pass on a traffic accident? God probably will give her a pass. The cops won't. No. It's okay. I'm reading the Bible. God, God will part. He will part the traffic for me. Because well, I mean, I the fact that she didn't hit anything is a miracle. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like God was kind of like, okay, Shelly, just, just keep going real slow. He's probably the like, cops. where are the where God was probably like, where the fuck are the cops right now? Jesus, guys, can you get over here? Hey guys, could you get on that? Get, get Jesus! I I got what? a rant. Nothing, nothing. It's just shake. God's up there, like I got a rant to worry about. I got fucking Mitt Romney on my uh, shit. 
Could you guys just take care of this lady? Thanks. Uh, don't read while driving. Why? Wait, I don't. It doesn't even matter hey, if you're reading. Hey, I love that she's reading. But <laughs> read while you're stationary. <laughs> I. I'm trying. Uh, the fact that she's actually reading, yeah. I tried. I try to try to be positive. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> I try so hard. I know. I just. Oh fuck. Oh. Fuck. Why not read from the Bible at the funeral? Well, that's what she was rehearsing to do. <laughs> what do you want her to read from the Bible while she's at the funeral? <laughs> What, you think she is an amateur? She was going to Some do people like to... Don't like to cold read in front of people. I get that. But rehearse while you're stationary. Uh, and, and finally, tonight... These headlines... This is... I... There's nothing particularly witty about this next headline. There's nothing particularly fantastical about it it's just the headline itself i'm i'm gonna let you read it i'm i will give you the link the link would be good because i can't read it without it i'm, I'm giving right now i i have a lot of superpowers that's not what I'm, I'm gonna give it to you and oh i saw this oh this is sad the like, headline alone that's what we call hitting bottom and I love me some McNuggets. Don't get me wrong. Like, I eat way more McDonald's than it's probably okay. But. Woman offered sexual favors for chicken McNuggets. Los Angeles woman was arrested on suspicion of prostitution after she allegedly offered sexual favors in exchange for chicken McNuggets, Burbank police said. Uh, Kajia Basir was opening customers' car doors. In a McDonald's drive through late Wednesday night, a customer told police that Basir oh asked for free chicken McNuggets in exchange for sexual favors. I didn't realize that. He was, like, hitting up random people in the parking lot. Yeah, the man said he declined the offer. Dude, at that point, go for the fucking value meal, at least. <laughs> Got your sights set kind of low. Right? Like, <laughs> Got your at least, if you're going to just walk around hitting up random people for car sex in exchange for shit food at least at least go for like the big mac or something yeah get like the value meal and, and negotiate give your a couple of pies your, maybe yeah, give yourself some room to bring it on down you'll meet in yeah. the middle you know that's just, that's just low self-esteem <laughs> and just imagine if you're driving up to the fucking mcdonald's with your kids, your family, getting a couple happy meals. Got they're in the back, they're watching the they're watching the SpongeBob or whatever the fuck the kids watch now. You get I enjoy that the chat now keeps track of my ridiculous anecdotes because they, they, they remember that I have a friend who got assaulted by a hooker and had his value meal stolen. <laughs> but no, imagine if yes, you guys I'm if, glad you listen. I I don't know why you do. Imagine if you're pulling the mom mobile up to the drive through and you know, there's a SpongeBob SquarePants. You might have me have And some bastard woman opens the doors like, I'll suck your dick for McNuggets, man. Yeah. I'll suck your I'll suck the kid's dick too. Give me some McNuggets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Somebody somebody PM'd me, ba da ba ba ba. I'm sucking dick. <laughs> that was clever. Thank you. That's not my joke. So that's me. Journeyman 0186. So, <laughs> not my joke. But it was a good one. So, I thought I'd share. Oh, it even God. matches the scansion, and that's impressive. Oh, uh, why? <laughs> You know, if you're going to offer sexual favors in exchange for food, why not at least, like, hit up the Olive Garden or something? Yeah. Like, like ch chicken nuggets are a dollar for four. Get some a lobster dollar. going on there, you know? You're offering up your shit for a dollar. 
<laughs> Why not just go for the cash and then buy the Mc? I don't. But I just, I just worry for her self esteem. <laughs> She's opening strangers' doors at the drive-thru and offering to suck dick for a six-piece McNugget. That's what I'm saying. Clearly, she has some inferiority issues. It didn't even mention the sauces. Because, I mean, well, I think the sauce choice is obvious here. Why did I set myself up for that <laughs> one? I think she's going for the white sauce. Oh, God. If only Doug were here to bring up a Hot Pocket right now. Oh, God. All right, so so what uh, what did we learn this week? Um, bees, your deadly bee weapon is not a good idea. No. <laughs> you can't control the bees. And it's you not can't like, tell them, okay, you guys are only going to be in this area. This is the bee area. That's it. You know, it's it, not out for you if they were trying to keep people away from a nuclear power plant that i could see yeah put some fucking bees out there sure no because then you have radioactive <laughs> okay that's okay, so much point. worse point okay yes fucking japan already has three inch hornets have you seen that shit no oh my god they're awful like oh, they have sure. these three inch hornets and like 10 of them can take out a hive of ten thousand in like five minutes it's on youtube it's horrifying show that to hope she'll love you forever it's horrifying. I'm never going to Japan after seeing those because they just fly around three fucking inch hornets. You want to make that shit radioactive? No, I don't think so. So no. yeah, the bees bees are not guard, good guard dogs. They don't sit. They mm -hmm. don't stay. They don't heal. They just sting you a lot. Um, and give you anaphylactic shock, maybe. Yeah. Um, we've learned that uh, the don't devalue your currency at the drive thru um, we've, yeah, don't, don't, don't devalue your kiss. It, it, go, go, learn to negotiate. You, you've got to work your way. Start you have to with, negotiate from a position of strength. Right. <sighs> go for the value meal. You're worth it. Because I'm worth it. You're worth the supersize. I'm girl. getting so many awful PMs right now about the McDonald. Just stop, God. Like I want no more euphemisms for semen as chicken McNugget sauce. No more. No mas. We're a classy show. <laughs> um, we learned that you know Jesus may be your co-pilot, but he's not going to drive for you. No, he's not. Is it Jesus, grab the wheel a second. I got to check up on these verses. That's not what Carrie Underwood meant when she said, Jesus, take the wheel. No. That's not what that song was about. No. And he's not gonna. Because Jesus was around 2,000 years ago. They didn't even have cars. <laughs> he didn't even know how to drive. Jesus, great guy. Shitty driver. <laughs> yeah, he can't, he can't work the clutch. He's not good, he, he's not good with a stick. So. Um, we've learned that the, sh the club is not a good place for a shower. It's a good place to be after you've taken a shower. But not oh, during. Yeah. But if you haven't already showered, don't do it there. Um, we've learned that uh, just, to, you know, you can't claim heaven as a residence if you want to get out of your taxes unless you're willing to go all in on that one. Well, yeah, you don't have to worry about the taxes once you're presumably there. You got to commit to that one. If you want to move to heaven so you don't want to pay taxes, commit to Sparkle Motion is all I'm saying. Yeah. Well, don't, that's not, that sounds like we're advocating suicide. And that doesn't get you to heaven because that's a moral sin and right, that goes yeah. the other way. So don't do Live that. Recklessly. There you go. But, you know, just pay your taxes. Jesus didn't like tax collectors. The IRS isn't in heaven. So if you're in heaven, the IRS isn't knocking on your door. Just think, just think through it logically. Read your Bible, not at the wheel, <laughs> and work through the problem, and it will all become clear. Uh, just, just, well, maybe just don't look both ways when you cross the street. You know? I'm advocating logic, and you're advocating, like, accidental suicide. This is the difference between you and me. Because I'm like, hey, people, just think before you act. And you're like, hey, jump in front of a bus. <laughs> I didn't say jump in front of a bus. I just said just maybe not notice it. He's all I'm saying. 
I'm an awful man. And finally, if, if dude, don't punch, don't. Grandma's no punch. Yes, I don't punch grandma. Don't start fights at the Chuck E. Cheese. At the Chuck E. Cheese, for God's sake. That's not the place to, to deal with the fact that your anger management counseling isn't fucking working. You don't tell me not to say fuck, Granny. I'll end you. Oh, I mean, yeah, it was really funny in Mallrats when Jay and Silent Bob beat the shit out of the Easter Bunny, but that's because that was fiction. We gonna do? We gonna do? We gonna do, Granny? We gonna do? Huh? Huh? No, it's well, and Grandmas like we've learned, Grandmas can kick some fucking ass. Oh hell yes, they can. So don't fuck with a grandma. She will mess your shit up. Especially at the grannies. Chuck grannies are hardcore these days. Especially at the Chucky. E Can you imagine the guy in the Chucky e. Cheese suit just thinking, "I don't get paid enough for this shit. I just, I don't, I don't get paid enough for this shit." Can you imagine the kid whose birthday party it was? Oh man, that watched grandma get beat up. Uh, like, <sighs> happy birthday. Grandma's got a facial laceration. But they, they gave him a refund, so it's okay. Mm. Get some fucking... Hey, free trip to the ball pit for the urine. What's wrong with us that we have to have security in the fucking Chuck E. Cheese? What's wrong with us?